Hey guys, I'm again with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be taking a look at a special model. So, this is Lego Star Wars set 7668, I think is what it is. Um, it's basically just Mace Windu Starfighter. Um, this set was kind of released a while ago, actually. Um, I'm thinking a little bit over a year ago, maybe two. And uh, it was a pretty interesting set when it came out. Most of their Starfighters are pretty much the same, except each and every one has a different feature. Like, uh, let's see, Plo Koons, which is the blue one right there, had the ejection seat feature, I believe. I think Sacy Tins had a, like, a, the cockpit could detach from the ship and be a escape pod. Um, each one had its own unique characteristics and features, basically. So, yeah. Um, anyhow, today what we're taking a look at is basically a custom Lego Jedi Star Wars, or, oh my god, I cannot speak. Look, it's like 11 o'clock Saturday night. I should be asleep, but I'm not. We're taking a look at a custom Lego Star Wars Jedi fighter that's been modified to seat two people instead of the standard one. Uh, now then there's a few things that I need to point out, and that's that the base model... I believe is the Mace Windu Starfighter because the original model that I got I downloaded off of the LDD gallery from lego.com so I don't know exactly which Starfighter it was but I'm pretty sure it's Mace Windu's um, it's either Mace Windu's or Plo Koon's and Plo Koon's is too different from this model that's like the best way to put it to be honest um, so, yeah, uh, well, without further ado, we might as well take a look at the two-seater fighter. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure the base model is Mace Windu's, and if you guys want to see the base model, I'll open... I gotta find it. So this is what I started with. Gotta let it load. Oh my gosh, wish it would load faster. I don't want to click on this because sometimes it just crashes. So the base fighter originally was from about here to about here. And uh, the wing wasn't this long. This entire section was added on. So if you take a line and cut it down right about here, from that way backwards is basically all custom designs by me. Um, the only like thing that I messed with up here, per se, is right here. Uh, the cockpit, this piece had to be moved one piece, one stud forward, uh, otherwise it wouldn't close properly. So I basically had to take and move all these for delete a few internal bricks here and then replace them to keep the structural integrity and then move the astromech forward. And by the way, it is a full-size astromech. Uh, also, while I have the cockpits open, I might as well uh, talk about it. So I got one Jedi here. Don't know who he is. Just a random Jedi. Got another Jedi here. Don't know who she is. Uh, shout out the women, though, because I might as well do a woman Jedi as well. Female Jedi. She's more of like a, what do you call it, radar operator, that type of person. Uh, she'll like call out targets and what direction they are. And then this guy actually flies the aircraft and shoots at people. Um, this was an interesting thing. The uh, actual seats, when I downloaded the model, the seats were these little board looking things that you get with um, the lifeguard minifigs. It was pretty interesting, so I, I left that in there because that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, both cockpits open, as you can see. Uh, it's 
fairly simple. It's just the hinged piece cockpits. Both of them close all the way. If the uh, program would let me close it all the way. Just like so. I'm going to leave them closed now. Zoom out all the way. Save it. Like I said, full body astromech. Zoom in just to show you guys that he is a full body. Got the legs, got the body, got the head. And then basically now we're going to start at the front and work our way backwards. So, like I said in the beginning of this video, there's nothing much about the front here. It's a pretty basic front. Um, nothing that I really modified other than the paint scheme, which looks awesome. It, it's the uh, bright orange, dark red, and a medium yellow, basically. Looks really awesome. Uh, in terms of the bottom of the mock, there are a few modifications. Uh, this front landing gear is still in the same spot, but I moved both of the back side landing gear back a full four studs just to support the uh, weight in the back more. And then it won't flip backwards basically with all that weight. It's going to hold the weight like it should. I also added another one of these pieces here to hold the wing in better. Make sure it isn't falling off base. Oh, sorry, I just had Dr. Pepper, so I keep burping in my mouth. Hold the wing on, make sure it won't fall off, won't tilt down more than what it's supposed to. Uh, both weapons are down here as well. These tubes here are the cannons. Um, I'm thinking about putting some up on top of the wing here, just like small repeaters, but I don't know just yet. Um, I'd have to experiment with designs much, much more. The other like major big thing that I edited down here was instead of having just two engines, I went with four. It looks a lot cooler. And with the uh, size of this model, it just fits. So, as you can see, it just fits. They got the blue little kind of like exhaust flame coming out of them. All right, I'm going to switch hands. So, sorry about shaking and whatnot. Um, and my left hand isn't as, as proficient as using the mouse, so it's probably going to be way, way worse in terms of uh, camera moving on the computer. In terms of the wing, the only thing that I really modified was uh, I basically just had to extend it out. So when it leveled off down here originally, all I did was take a 6x6 six six and extend it out this way, and then take the angled piece and then put it in the back here. And then I added some, uh, basically, uh, these things right here. Uh, now then, there is a backstory to these, and I'm going to have to Google search it because a lot of people don't know this. But the LEGO CC-10 Starfighter that you guys bought is not CC-10 Starfighter. This green and white piece of shit is not CC-10 Starfighter. That's just LEGO's excuse for making a Starfighter uh, with CC-10. The actual or Starfighter that CC-10 has that has been released um, by Hasbro, which is the company who does everything for... Um, pretty much everything that is the plastic toys uh, and everything. If I can find a freaking image, is this right here. This is CC-10's um, Delta-7 Starfighter. And this is one of the really, really awesome Delta-7 Starfighters because uh, most people don't know much about CC-10, but he was originally an ace pilot with the uh, Jedi Star Corps. So his like entire eye or entire purpose for being a Jedi was to basically kick ass in space in a starfighter. So he actually took his Delta 7 and modded it so that the front here breaks apart and then he has hidden cannons. So yeah. So you got this entire panel here that breaks apart and then there's cannons inside of it and then these wings in the back here fold open just like the uh, kind of like Anakin's a uh, yellow starfighter. Jedi starfighter. They open up like these wings here. And uh, yeah, so I kind of, I really like CC-10's Delta 7. It's really, really awesome. So I took some inspiration here and I put the opening wings back here. So these panels do open up. They usually only open it up like two maybe three or you can fold them up 
open them up like all the way as like maybe an extension. Maybe you can leave them up like this. You can do all sorts of things with them. But I usually kind of like having them open up only that much. Uh, there's mostly dark red underneath here with the exception of two yellow uh, vent pieces right there. Uh, this one also opens up just like so. So now you have a different dynamic on the Starfighter itself. I'm going to fold them back in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I changed there. Um, now then, originally, this entire piece here only consisted of these four. Um, but I basically had to take this and extend it out this way. Otherwise, it just the blending between this cockpit and this cockpit doesn't work because there's a giant flat surface here. So I blended it more by extending this piece out. That also follows the wing. Did that on both sides. I had to design from here back to about there down is all of something that I've designed except for these pieces here. These pieces are from here. This orange to this yellow right there is uh, all original to the Starfighter. But other than that, it's all my design. So it just kind of clicked into place using the same kind of uh, pieces that these pieces here use. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could unclip this entire section here after removing a few uh, brick base plates because the base plates that I used are there to keep it in place. So you remove uh, two of those and then you can unsnap this entire thing and then it's kind of like an escape pod, but that's kind of douchey because then you're just leaving the other guy to fend for himself. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't incorporated as an escape pod feature it's just something you can really do um i don't necessarily agree with leaving other people left to die if if you're gonna die and there's someone in this ship with you you might as well die with them just you know just accept it <laughs> but uh she's sitting up in a more spacious cockpit than the other one she's got more room for her arms and uh, legs and whatnot and then this guy down here just he gets kind of crammed in there. It's a really small cockpit, but that's original to the fighter. Uh, this was my design, so I could stretch it out a little bit more and give her more room than the guy. So I'm not sexist because obviously the woman has more room. I'm just going to throw that out there. Also, the uh, fin. I don't like the kind of like just square fin thing that they have because I know I understand that it's supposed to be thin, but it's not that thin. So I just went ahead and uh, made it so that it was one stud across <laughs> it's uh, just one stud in terms of width or across and then it's uh, three studs high or three bricks high which would be nine studs high um, but it works here and it's got some really nice shaping to it and I could see like in a Republic Armada in insignia right there and then uh, one on this side as well and then I was thinking maybe some um, stickers, granted, because for some reason LEGO just never prints on these type of cockpit pieces. But I could imagine some stickers like angled coming down here, kind of orange, or maybe a blend between this dark red and orange. Kind of like an angle piece here, or a possibly like an outlining of the cockpit in a black or a dark gray, maybe a white. I don't think white naturally goes with this one though, like uh, the yellow ones. The other cockpits that actually do do that. Uh, Alright, moving on to kind of like the main awesome feature of this model that I really like. Is that when I designed this cockpit, I had this giant hollow space down here. Um, these here support the cockpit and it's a cantilever so it's not going to break if that's what you guys are worried about. Um, but this from here about 6 studs forward or it's basically 8 studs forward but the actual box itself was only six studs, was hollow, and I needed to put something there because I don't like the waste space. If I have enough structural integrity and then some leftover space, I might as well add like a really interesting feature. So this feature here is that this bar right here, um, if it was built in real life, you could grab onto it, and this entire box disconnects. So you have this just box right here. And you can pull off these two top panels, and ideally inside there would be two lightsabers with their uh, lightsaber hilts. I don't know if they're going to fit or not, because I haven't... Obviously I can't just, like, set lightsaber hilts and blades down in there, because LDD 
like basically just requires you to have a stud touching another stud so I can't just throw them in there but basically the idea is when you put both Jedi in their cockpits and you need a place to put the lightsabers instead of the original model just having them clipped on the wing in the back here you can put them in this box and then they're pretty much safe uh, because the box seals up and it stays closed and then the place that it clips into right here is a uh, there's a top and a bottom plate that fit perfectly so basically the box can't open or close uh, to open or close it, you have to remove the box. See how it fits nice and snug? There's no gaps between the top or bottom. The box can't open, so you have to pull it out to open the box. So that's pretty sweet because then your box is nice and secure in those two clips. Your lightsabers are held inside, no problem, and you won't lose them. So that's like the really awesome thing. Um, but so kind of like the idea that I had when I was building this model is that when you're teaching a Jedi to be a starfighter pilot, I think it kind of sucked to give him a full-fledged fighter model, and then all of a sudden he crash it, and then you're out of a fighter. So why not do a two-seater, and then the trainer sit in the top seat, so that if something did go wrong, the trainer could at least attempt to save it, because obviously the trainer would be more experienced. So that's the idea that I had going on here. And it worked out pretty well. Um, if I add more guns to it, I'm going to pretty much scrap that idea and just be like, two people are better than one in a fight. Um, so yeah, I'll get there eventually. Like, this is just a really awesome model. I really like the two-seaters. I love the cockpit design. I love how streamlined it is. I like, I just like how it looks, guys. It looks really awesome. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Um... I might put HD quality, no, yeah, never mind, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm too lazy to edit, so I'm just going to upload this straight. So, thank you guys for watching, remember to comment right and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you guys have any questions about this model, don't be afraid to ask. If you have any questions about my other models, don't be afraid to ask either. I check all comments, I read all comments, I respond to every comment, generally speaking, unless you're being an absolute douche, and then I kind of don't, and probably I'll delete your comment. But at the same time, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, remember to come right and subscribe, and if you have any time to kill, don't be afraid to check out my website where all of my gun models are located, other than the ones that I haven't put on there yet because things have been really busy. Also, in the works right now is Brandon S's, or Future Yeti 3's, SL-8 sniper rifle. It's a German sniper rifle. It's pretty much just a semi-automatic legal, civilian legal version of the uh, G36. That is in the works as we speak. It's going to take me a while to get it done. I don't have much time. And it is very complicated. Kind of. It's not something that I can do really snappy like this, basically. So, like, be on the lookout for that model. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.